So David, you, you talked a lot about the importance of, of subtyping KRAS mutations and KRAS G12C certainly is a mutation that we are now considering to be actionable with some of these new therapies. But before we talk about the newer therapies that are coming down the pike and have been reported on, we've also learned a great deal about KRAS biology in general in terms of outcomes, as well as co-alterations with KRAS that may impact how these patients do with particular therapy. So maybe we can start out, what's, you know, what's the historical view on the prognosis of patients with KRAS mutated lung cancer? Uh, it's been very mixed and many papers contradicting each other. Uh, my um, estimation on why is that they either didn't have enough numbers or they failed to account for all the different KRAS mutations, which are so different biologically one to the other. And I can just remember seeing these papers, and so I would talk about KRAS, and someone from the audience would say, well, I read this review article on so-and-so, and they said it didn't make any difference. You know, sometimes papers would say, well, it's prognostic, but it's not predictive of outcome. That being said, uh, now for many years, even uh, preclinical data such as that from co-clinical trials have shown that an association, for example, of G12C with SDK11 makes that a very difficult uh, target to drug, let's say, with a MEK inhibitor. But if you add a chemotherapeutic like docetaxel, you actually get some response. That led to the trials that you talked about which failed in phase three. But even now, you know, we have quite good data that says trametinib, for example, has a response rate of 10%. If you add docetaxel to that, it's 25%. But the duration of the responses are short. Mm -hmm. And there's a fair amount of toxicity associated with those, uh, those therapies. So yes, we have had therapies in the past. Now, uh, maybe we should move on to what we do now. Yeah. And yeah. what we do now in almost every patient with non-small cell lung cancer is checkpoint immunotherapy. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about, um, you know, let's get to the meat of the issue, which is we're both doing next generation sequencing on our patients. And I assume for patients outside of a clinical trial who are KRAS positive, um, depending on their PDL1, you may offer single agent Pembro if their PDL1 is greater than 50%, maybe triplet therapy with carbopemetrexid pembrolizumab, and then the less than 50% uh, triplet therapy with carboplatin pemetrexid pembrolizumab. Is that your practice? And then we can talk about some of how these co alterations may, may change things for you, but is that what you're generally doing? Yes. Okay. And I think there are uh, data to support the fact that patients, at least with some KRAS mutation, do better on checkpoint immunotherapy than those without. Yes. Yeah. Now, the problem has been, how do you dissociate that from their smoking history? Because as I said, G12C, highly associated with tobacco carcinogenesis. But some recent analyses, which I'm sure you've seen, for instance, of the keynote trials, monotherapy, showed that patients who had the greatest benefit and survival with checkpoint immunotherapy, almost independent of PDL1 or even tumor mutational, better, uh, tumor mutational burden. If they had uh, a KRAS mutation in their cancer, they did the best. Yeah. And if it was G12C, they did the very, very best. <laughs> Interestingly, a preliminary analysis of the same checkpoint inhibitor, pembrolizumab, given together with chemotherapy, was less clear. And, and I yeah. think that's because chemotherapy is agnostic. To some of these, yes. uh, some of these biomarkers. Yeah. So I think it's emerging field, but it's quite interesting. Very interesting data emerging. I think we're still wrestling with this. I agree. The first, when immunotherapy came up and really quickly arose as the you know, cemented in the second line and then first line, we thought KRAS may be one of these predictive biomarkers for better outcome. 